Welcome to Quick Talk Automation. In this series of lectures, we're going to show you how to create your journeys with our product. To begin with, once you first log in into the product, you'll see a screen like this, or you may not have any collections available by default, so you might have to create a new collection. So just click on New Collection. Give your collection a name. In this case, I'm going to give it Lessons. Press Next. You get two options for the accessibility, private or public, basically it means do you want to expose your collection to the rest of the world or not. By default it's private and I'm going to stick with that one and press done. And now it says that you have created your very first workflow collection, so let me get started. So now that this is created, this is completely empty. The collection contains no journeys whatsoever. So we're going to create our very first journey. Let's click on the new journey button. Now the journey that we want to build in this first demonstration consists of a Facebook Messenger which you'll be able to capture lead and place it inside a Google Excel sheet uh, or Google Sheets rather. So to understand how the product works we need to understand some concepts like these. There's two sections to any journey. There's an event and there's a series of actions. An event is absolutely anything that a third-party system can inform you. For example, if you're using Gmail and you get a new email in it, that's an event. If you have Facebook Messenger configured and you receive a new message on your Facebook Messenger, that's yet another event. So events are a series of actions which are happening, or triggers rather, which are happening in these third-party platforms. So to choose, in our case, the event would be Facebook, let me zoom out, Facebook Messenger. So now it gives you the option to choose what kind of trigger are we talking about. Is there a new text message? Is there a new media upload? Or is there has been a button which has been pressed inside the Facebook Messenger? For keeping things simple for the first demonstration, I'm going to choose a new text message. Now you'll find in this situation where you might have to establish a connection with your Facebook Messenger page. Now Facebook Messenger works in the concept of that you have to create a page in Facebook like I have created over here. We, I have called it the automation demo for the sake of this demonstration. And you get the in the about section all the information about the page including the page ID which is something that we're going to need in a few minutes. So I'll go back to the product and I'll click on create a new account and I'll press link account. A small pop-up model opens up and you can be prompted with these set of questions like what do you want to name your connection by default it's pre-filled for you and the page entity which I just showed you is available inside the Facebook page about section. So you can create any Facebook page and give it a name and copy the page ID back to the product and paste it over here and press link account. Now my connection name does already exist so I'm going to give it some other name. I'm going to call it the second Facebook account. You might not face this difficulty. And then I'm going to press link account. It's going to say that it's an account that you want to link with Facebook Messenger. I'm going to say continue and it should just pop up and your account is linked. So you have now configured your very first event. So we can close this by tapping on it. And now we have to configure the second part of the automation, which is called as the actions. So while I want to ask just a question to the user, in this case, what I have created the Excel sheet for is to capture the name of the lead and the email of the lead. That's all I want to do with this particular demonstration. So I'll just pop open in here, choose Facebook Messenger, and then I'll choose ask a question. I want to ask the user a question which is what is your name? All right. The type of the question is text because name is usually a text. Retry help. As it says, if somebody doesn't enter the answer type which is text, what do you want to prompt them with? In this case, I'll say 
u seems to have entered an incorrect name. Please try again. Okay. Now comes the recipient ID or who is the person in Facebook Messenger who shall receive this question. Now for that reason, we'll come to the third component of the Automation Builder, which is called as the App Data. Here, you'll be able to see the output which is produced by the various steps above this one. May sound extremely complicated, let me make it extremely simple for you. Event is this thing over here, and you have this very first action. Now an event, when it happens, let's say a new Gmail produces a new email, you're gonna get some data points from that Gmail, like for example, who sent that email, and what was the subject line of that email, and what is the body of the email. Similarly, over here in Facebook, you get this area over here called as a new text message, which basically says that whenever there's a new text message coming from Facebook, you get these three parameters. Now, apparently, recipient is whoever has sent you the message correct so all you need to do is click on this sender id and this will populate itself you can either click on it or if i erase this and you can also drag it and drop it over here and that's how simple it is now let me press the, the the box over here to close the model press save and press start Now you'll see that the journey has started and now we have to sort of fill it in with probably just trigger this workflow with a Facebook text message. So if I go over here on the left hand side screen, I've got my Facebook Messenger opened up on my phone and I'm going to send in a message. I'm going to press hi. And you'll see that I have been prompted with a question that says, what is your name? And I'm just gonna enter Krish Advani. And press send. Now you'll see that once I've answered this, there's no more steps in the workflow. There's nothing more happening in that particular journey whatsoever. So if I go back to the automation product, and if I refresh, you'll see that one history has been created. Something actually happened just right now over here which I can go ahead and see which says that somebody was asked a question which is what is your name and the output produced Krish Advani. So this goes and does the first step which is asking a question for the user for one piece of information which we want necessary for the lead capturing. So I'll see you in the second demonstration on how to Fill in the next steps, which is asking one more question and inserting this into a Google Sheets. Thank you very much.